Hey everyone, Sad Math Magician. On this video, we're gonna take a look at linear relationships and we're gonna see, can we find the slope of a line? And for this example problem, we're gonna be given a graph with three different slope triangles. We have slope triangles A, B, and C. And we wanna find the slope of the line using those three slope triangles. And that's what it asks us to do in part A of this problem. It says, find the slope of the line using the slope triangle A, slope triangle B, and then slope triangle C. So let's go ahead and do that. Remember, when we're finding the slope of a line and when we make our slope triangle, we always wanna put delta Y over delta X. Remember, delta Y is the vertical side of your triangle. Delta X is the horizontal side of your triangle. You might also have heard about it as rise over run. However you wanna say it is fine with me, rise over run, delta y over delta x, either way, we need to make a fraction for each of these slope triangles. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with triangle A, and I'm gonna make the slope for that triangle. So first I wanna look at the delta y side of A, the vertical side. I see that the vertical side here of A is a distance of one. Then I see that the delta x side, or the horizontal side, has a distance of two. So since I wanna make my slope triangle for this, or my slope ratio, I mean, I'm gonna do delta y over delta x, one over two. That is the slope of our slope triangle A. Awesome job. Let's go ahead now and look at the slope triangle B. Again, we wanna make the slope ratio for this triangle. So again, let's look at the delta y side. The delta y side for B has a distance of one, two, three. So that side there has a distance of three. The delta x side or the horizontal side, that has a distance of one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I would say that this slope, again, slope is always delta y, delta x. So I'll say three over six. That right there is the slope for our slope triangle B. Alrighty, almost done. Last but certainly not least, we wanna go ahead and find now the slope of the slope triangle C. So for C again, let's get our slope uh, ratio, getting delta Y and then getting delta X. Delta Y here is a distance of one, two, three, four. The delta X side or the horizontal side has a distance of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So our slope here again, rise over run, or delta Y over delta X, four over eight. And that is the slope for every slope triangle on our given line. Now for B, B says, let's explain the relationship of these slopes and justify it completely. We have one line here, and we have three different slope triangles with three different slopes. We have one half, three over six, and four over eight. Now hopefully that those fractions are kind of screaming at you at this moment and you're realizing that the three over six and the four over eight can be reduced. Remember, we always wanna reduce fractions when possible. So hopefully you are realizing that our slope for B, which is three over six, really can be reduced to one over two, right? Because three goes into three one time, three goes into six two times. So three over six is really just one half. I think we can also do the same thing for our C slope, which is four over eight. Again, four goes into four one time, and four goes into eight two times. So four over eight is really just one half when we simplify it. And we can't forget that A's slope was one half as well. So explaining the relationship of these slopes, well, all of these slopes are the same. They are actually the same fraction. All of those represent one half, and that should make sense to us. That should make sense to us because all of these slope triangles are on the same line there. They're on that same line, and a line only has one slope. So no matter what slope triangle I draw on that line, it's always gonna end up equaling one over two. And hopefully that helps you out with a little review of how to find the slope of a line given some slope triangles. It's That Math Magician, and I'll see you on the next video.